Right, so what's going on guys? It's Noel here and welcome back to another video. Now guys, today we are back on the police team on emergency response at Liberty County. And as you can tell, recently, over the past few days, we've had quite a lot of snow. So, um, I've jumped into a bit of a bigger car instead of my normal, um, um, charger, which we normally drive. I've jumped into the Tahoe today because it's very snowy around here, pretty icy. So, we just want to stay safe and make sure the roads are safe and all that. So, it's been quite a quiet shift, um, not much has happened today. We've had a couple calls here and there um, about cars sliding on the ice, but not too much has happened. So I'm just dra currently driving around, um, looking for maybe some cars stuck in the ice, because as I said, the roads are pretty icy around here. Um, you can see there's a dot, um, or the Department of Transportation snowplow getting ready to go out later on, possibly, um, to clear some of the snow away, because it is very snowy. Uh, and a call has just come in, so let's go and check what that call is. I'm taking a guess it's going to be a car that's slid on the ice, um, so let's have a wee look. My son has gone missing, I'm near the lake and can't find him anywhere. Okay, so that's not pretty, that's not good, so where, uh, where's this call coming from? Okay, so it's on the other side of the county from us, because we're over here and that call is down there. So let's get there as fast as we can, we'll turn on our sirens, we'll mark ourselves en route to the call, and... I'm taking guys some other officers are going to head over there as well because that seems like a pretty bad thing. We've got a missing child in the snow. They could be anywhere and it's really cold and icy as well, so that's not a very good thing. Okay, so we're just down the road from um, where the call is. So we're nearly there, we're not too far away, and we're going to speak to this person and find out as much information as possible and hopefully find their son. So let's just pull in. That wasn't a great parking job by me. But we're here now, that's all that matters. And we'll go and find them, I think. Yep, that's them over here, so we'll go and speak to them. Hello. I can't find my son, Jimmy. Okay, that's why we are here. He said he was going to go ice skating, but now I can't find him. I was talking to this other mom. Last I know, I think he was over that hill. Okay, so first thing he's over that hill, we'll go. Ha we'll it sounds a bit silly, but we'll go take a look over the hill. Um, maybe he's over here somewhere. I'm not seeing anyone so far. Oh, it's very, very cold and the snow's starting to come down pretty thick. Eh, I don't, oh, I don't see him. Maybe in this bush? No, he's not over here. Right, okay, I think we're possibly going to have to widen our search. We'd have thought she would have looked over here. Um, so we'll go back and speak to her and see if there's any other places he could have went to. And if he doesn't come, we'll go. We'll call for um, Department of Transportation to come and help clear the road and make us a bit easier for us to search. We'll also get some more people searching. Now, the, this is very icy, but I don't see him over here. I'm going to check to make sure he hasn't fallen through any of the ice. Um, I'm not seeing any holes in the ice, so I think he is above the ice, which is a good thing. Is there anywhere else he could have went? No, I don't think so. Okay, we will widen our search. But if you'd like, you can go home and warm up. Warm up. He does like animals though. I'm not sure if there's any farms or anything, but he told me something about animals. Okay, we will look around. So what I'm actually going to do first of all is I'm going to call for um, DOT to come here. And they will help us with clearing the roads. It will also make, um, be able to make sure we can get around easier because it is very cold, very icy and very snowy. So hopefully they will get here soon and we can speak to them and they will be able to help us search as well. Okay, so where do you think it could be? Hmm, I'm not sure. We have a lot of ground to cover. Maybe it's best to look around the housing area first. Yeah, the biggest worry is that the snow is getting heavier. Okay, so that's DOT here. So we'll speak to them and tell them what the situation is. Yeah, we need more people to move it. Okay, so that's DOT here. Hello, what's the issue? Hi, we have a missing child. Oh no, not near Christmas. I know, we need to find him. What does he look like? We don't have a description, but we do know that his name is Jimmy. The biggest issue for us is the snow. It's coming down really heavy and the roads are becoming slippy. Have you searched anywhere? Well, we have searched a small area around here, but we are wanting to widen our search. Could you help us? I'll drive my truck up the hill where the tunnel is. Yeah, it sounds like a good plan. Okay, I'll radio if I find anything. Okay, so, I think I'll maybe go and search over in the housing area. I don't know where Chris is going to work, I'm going to go, so I'll ask him. 
Chris, where are you going to go? I'll go search around the city area, see if I can spot him there. Okay, radio if you see him. Will do. Okay, so I'm going to jump into my car now. And I'm going to drive off towards the housing suburb. Drive around that area and see if I can see him. Hopefully we can find him pretty soon. But we don't know. It's a lot of area. We're actually going to, I'm going to turn on my um, some of my lights. We'll use our spotlight as well. And see if we can see him in any of these bushes or something. As I said, the biggest issue for us now is it's getting really, really cold. And it is becoming up to Christmas. We don't have a missing child at Christmas, do we? Um, so it is absolutely freezing. So we don't want him getting extremely cold. Because something because bad things can happen if it gets very cold. After searching around these couple houses, I'm not seeing them so far. I'll maybe, I, I don't know if he'd be around the houses. If he was around the houses, somebody would see him. Now, Dot's saying he's not on the house, so that's a good thing. But I think what I'll do is maybe drive onto here and drive around the perimeter of the housing area and see if I can see him in the snow. Because you never know, he might be building a snowman or something, playing in the snow. But let's just hope we can find him nice and fast. Now, I can't get around to the back of that house. I think we can maybe get around this way. So, I've searched a couple, around a few of these houses now. And I'm not seeing them. Um, and it doesn't look like there's anyone at home right now. Around these houses. So, there's nobody really to even ask. But all I can say is, oh, a lot of nice Christmas decorations around here as well. It's nice to see. So, I think I'll maybe go and search up on this off-roading road up here and see if he's up here because you never know you never know where he could be so i'm not seeing him up here so far um i don't know where he could be i'll maybe go and search over in the city with um chris and see what chris sees okay what's well, chris saying he doesn't seem to be in the city i've asked him at the shops and no one has seemed to have seen him and um well he's also been said that he's not at the wooden bridge okay so we've got that kind of confirmation now i'll go take a wee look up the alleys maybe around the city maybe jump out on foot and see i'll tell traffic to go around me and we'll jump out and we'll have a search around here on foot okay so he's not around this building maybe he's around this parking bit with the atm i just hope he's not robbing the atm no he's not here did you see chris drive past there's a couple of alleys up here we could tell a search for. So let's see if he's up here. I'm not seeing him up this one. Okay, what about these ones? Nope, nobody there, nobody there. And nobody here. I don't really know where he could be. Um, Like, who knows? There's a lot of ground to cover, as we said. But I don't, I don't know how he managed to get away so fast. Not in the central park of the Christmas tree. Okay, so he's not over there. That's where I was going to go search next. So, I don't know where he could be. Um, I'll maybe go and search. So, I'm going to go search over towards the power plant now. And see what we see over there. Have you seen anything yet? No, sadly. I've checked all around here. Only place left is the farms and the houses around there. Okay, we will have a look around there then. So, um, we'll go drive over there and I'll jump into my car and we'll drive over there and see if he's there. Hopefully he'll be there and we can reunite him, take him back to his house and the job will be done, which will be great. Possible sightings at the farms according to the gas station owner. Okay, that's a good sign. So Chris is up ahead of us right now, heading towards the gas station. And he's actually going to go that way maybe. And I'll head over to the gas station and see if the DOT guy is over here. And find out what information we have. Okay, he's up over here actually, so I'll go and talk to him. We'll honk our horn. Get his attention. Okay, so here he is. He's saying hey. Hi, where did they see him? Okay, Chris is here as now. No, Chris is now here as well. Not seen him yet, but the gas station owner said he was purchasing candy about five minutes ago. Okay, that is great. He can't be far from here then. So, I think what we would do is we'll just walk it. His body temperature will be low. We're going, we need to hurry. We do need to hurry. So, 
let's take a run. Maybe we'll look in the barn when we go upstairs and see if we can see him in here. See where the snow plow has been parked. We'll jump. We'll, go, we'll climb up. Let's see if we can see him. Uh, I'm not seeing him up here. That's not a good thing. I want to find him fast because we've been searching for quite a few hours now. And if we don't find him fast, this, this isn't going to be a good um, circumstances. So we'll have a look, look in some of these bushes, see where he could be. Because if he's cold, he's going to go and try and find some shelter to hide in. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, it's so cold. Jimmy, can you hear me? Hello? Are you okay? Oh my god, he's so blue. He is really blue. Oh, it's so cold. It's okay. We will keep you safe. We will cut. We'll get you to the hospital. Should I call the hospital to get him a bed ready? Yeah, call them. Jimmy, come with me. Right, let's get Jimmy to our car. It's not too far from here. We should be able to walk it. We'll go. We'll go nice and slow. So I think Chris is going to um, lead the way in his car, and we'll put Jimmy in the back of mine. Let him lie down the back. Okay, so I think he's just going to jump into our car now. Yep, there he is. Okay, let's get him to the hospital as fast as we can. And then we can reunite him with his family maybe later on. Okay, so we're not too far from the hospital. It is just round the corner, really. Just got to go over one bridge and that'll be us there. We've just got to get there nice and fast. But as I said earlier on, the roads are extremely slippery right now. Which isn't a great thing, um, but we're not too far away. I can see the hospital just in front of us, and we should have a bed ready for him. So we'll just pull in now. There's Chris pulling in front of us as well, and we'll get him in as fast as we can. Let's jump out and get him in. I think he's on this side, isn't he? Yeah, he's extremely cold. Jimmy, come. They have a bed for you. Yep, here he comes now. Oh, he's very, very, very cold. This thing is room one. Okay, room one's just here. This room is ready for him. Okay. Jimmy, they will heat you up. Your mom is on the way. I hope you feel better soon. Chris will stay with you. Okay, so we've now got Jimmy into the hospital, nice and safe. His mum is on the way. So I think that'll do it for today guys, so if you did enjoy this video, make sure you smash thumbs up because it will to the channel quite a lot. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that big red juicy subscribe button. Make sure you on Instagram at DJ underscore small and make sure you on Twitter at small DJ. But anyway guys, have a good rest of your day and or night and goodbye.